Welcome to the trailhead of the Felford Group on a weekend. Uh, as you can see, we are here with 50 carloads of our favorite people. Um, so it's going to be a good opportunity for outreach and uh, we just strap the packs on, see how they feel. Uh, Ida. Ida's carrying the supplies for her and Rio. Um, we're going to have to watch her because she's been a little bit coffee and uh, got her on a course of antibiotics right now. How are you feeling, Alex? Feeling all right. We'll we figure your pack ways. I think we're at 35, maybe a little lighter. Steve thinks he's 40 plus. Uh, and uh, we've got Alex rocking the side by side. So uh, <laughs> three doubles going out here. Come on, guys, this way. Ida. Rio. Not even a little bit. Uh, so we're going to have a lot of people up here. We've been kind of eyeing it up. They, uh, most of them don't look like they're overnighting it. This is going to be, uh, so we should be somewhat uh, on our own up here. There's always a lot of uh, But we're just going to ease into this. Uh, most of the people have already hit the trail uh, because they can go before first light because we're trying to shoot stuff down here. <laughs> um, yeah, we have to wait until we can see things. And also, we're not having to race up and race back down because we've got our gear for overnight. So, uh, should be a good start to the hike, but you ready? Away we go. Girl, get some water. Oh, the added weight of the pack. Ida! Ida! Enough. I'm trying to hurry the other dogs. The added weight of the pack certainly adds to the uh, level of exertion. So. and steady gonna be the rule for this country through here I mean the habitat looks great but when a hundred people have been up the hill before you you're in the challenge we've got 1500 vertical. Maybe like 1800. We get to where we think we can camp. So, gonna be a tester. So we're just at a mile in. If you're uh, hiking this, there's a stream that's running down here to our left. Um, but this is really the first indication of surface water. It's not the cleanest surface water, but uh, usable, could filter it. I haven't really drank that much. And I think we've got plenty left in the bladder for the dogs. So we're just gonna let them go ahead and uh, <coughs> get as much as they can drink here. And then we'll keep heading upward. But one mile in. About a mile to go to where we think we can start getting base camp, and we've got one filthy pig. Hey, she's the smartest dog of all. Man. The bad part is, is I got to let that in my tent tonight. The good part is, is she's going to be the coolest running dog we've got. So, um, oh, you, whoa, that's not good. Uh, the other good news is, is Ida who has some kind of congestion in her cough. We started her on a course of antibiotics and she's been running good, hasn't been coughing much. 
So I think we're gonna knock that out. <coughs> knock that out. She gave it to me last night. Or I gave it to her. <coughs> Actually, if you're from the lowlands, like uh, Steve and I, you get up here. The funny part is this elevation screws with the pressure in your head. And what it's doing to me is it's just pushing those sinuses and going. <coughs> uh, so not necessarily the best part about this, but just be warned that when you come out here, you're gonna. Easy. Easy, Charlie. Easy. Go. Easy. Go, guys. Go. Charlie. Have her go down there. Hey, come on out here, Charlie. Down here. Down here. Down here. Down here. Hey. There you go. Somebody got it ambitious. Decided they'd uh, rock a little cabin activity up here. Looks like we're just about to clear the tree line. Um, these logs have some age on them. Got a tin roof, old tin roof. <coughs> At one point, this is probably a pretty cool place. Still pretty cool. It looks like tree lines right up here. We're gonna start up the grouse. <clears throat> Dogs got birdie. Right up here. No tree line. So we've gone off trail. You can see Ida's interested. This is really good. Mixed in edge cover. Uh, the dogs are working really good. Hopefully, we can bump some out of here. Hunt them up. Hunt them up, guys. You know, water. It's been really fun lately. Here we are at the site of the first overnight for this trip. Day 14 of the season. Steve and Alex are coming up the trail right now. This is fairly level. We've got water right here. Uh, can't really beat the view. The trail. This is off the trail for Missouri, which is up into that way. Uh, and then we're going to be in the shadows of Belford right there, which the trail goes right up that spine. Looks like it's going to be a steep one in the morning. There he is down here hunting Pika. Pikachu. Good hike up, feel pretty good. Uh, 
next step is set up camp. How you feel, man? Disconnect on the bladder got dehydrated or uh, got uh, crap in it or frozen. No water for you. One ounce at a time. It's like little shooters. So uh, now I'm going to disconnect <coughs> it and drink directly out of the bladder until I get this fixed. Well, looks like a good spot here. Some of the biggest concerns when you come up here with dogs, especially. Just have enough water. We're lucky enough to have a stream here by camp. It's got to follow the trail the whole way up. So I'm just filtering some fresh water in. That way the dogs, we don't have to carry two days worth of water at any given time. Just like that. Got 24 more ounces of snow melt water. somebody's dog <laughs> first dehydrated meal ever comes through unprocessed fully at least your forks long enough stay I oh you just put much, too much water and it's over you gotta you gotta deal with it second dinner right now. On Overwatch tonight. As soon as that sun goes behind the mountain and you go into shade, it starts getting cool pretty quick, so. Sunrise. Yeah, camp mostly packed up. Just 
Steve and uh, his dogs are going the back way. Ida, quit. Hey, you two, enough. And uh, Alex and I are gonna go the front way. Right up there. Let's see how that works out. Uh, woke rest this morning. Yeah, it was good last night. Got all our uh, gear, main gear from our backpack stash, so we're going as light as we can. We'll see what happens. This trail of Belford from the bowl takes a pretty aggressive cut uphill. Uh, it's the first time we've gone back to back, so uh, it's taken out of us. Uh, already layered down multiple times. But uh, we're gonna keep at it. Beautiful. Rio's got a strong point up here. We missed. Here it comes, Alex. Come on, Rio. Rio's coming right behind you. Here it goes. Oh! Find it, Ida. This way. Up this way. Look in here. Ida, right up here. Come on. This way. Not for long. If it flies to your left, Alex, you got no shot. People behind you. If it flies it, it, oh, down that hill, you're going. Yeah, down here I'm good. Yeah. Back behind me, no go. Go, I find it. Come on, down here. Down here. Go on. Look down there. Look down there. Call her to you, Alex. Come on. Ida. No, nah, she, she's not going to move because she smells it. Ida, go flush. Go ahead and flush it, Alex. Watch, Ida. Watch, Ida. <laughs> Ida, look, Ida. Go, 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 go. Ida, go. Sure, Alex. Sure, Ida. 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 There. Right there. Right there. Go get it, girl. Kill it. Nope. Go get it, Ida. Here, she's on it. She's on it. As soon as she sees it. You still see it, Alex? She, nope, she's not gonna do it. Maybe we can get her climbing again, and I won't have to drop in. She's still dropping? All right, well, I'm gonna give up on this one. Hopefully she has too. If we can get her climbing again, we're better off. That's a pretty good example of kind of the challenges you've got with two things. Hunting public land that's got heavy use. Tons of people come to this trail. So on that bird, I was trying to clear, get clear of people, make sure that we had a flush in the appropriate direction. <coughs> Just a little below 13,000 feet. Uh, and as I'm talking to people and just kind of walking it through Ida saw the bird and went and flushed it so I never really got the gun shoulder and then it proceeded to drop and this one right down there pointed it like five different times and wouldn't leave point until the bird moved so <coughs> we had to drop and give up an additional 500 feet 
to come back down. If I hadn't have been setting up the camera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, just shoot the bird, take it, and uh, keep climbing. Um, Alex had a chance at it, but it wouldn't flush without dog pressure. So now Alex is above me, <laughs> waiting. And uh, we're gonna be in this scenario, I think. It sounds like there's more birds up top. Uh, it is the 15th day of the season. <coughs> we're gonna hope we can get up there. I'm gonna try and keep them closer to trail until we get an opening where we can actually spread out a little bit um, and get away from some of these climbers. Uh, it is mixed use. We certainly are allowed to shoot up here, um, but we also don't want to put anybody in a position where they feel unsafe, although we're obviously not going to shoot uh, in a scenario that's unsafe. So, uh, But when we don't shoot or when we miss a bird, then we're in a scenario where we've got to drop. Uh, it's been a fun morning so far uh, in a beautiful place. Another opportunity up here, uh, a couple feet, 100 feet below here. Um, you can see the pitch we've got going on. Rio had some birds locked down, two of them, much more mature birds than the last one. And uh, I went and flushed them right into the sun above me. Uh, and by the time I picked them up, we were diving over this ledge over here. Um, I burned some powder, but they weren't good shots. Just the fun part is, you get, depending on where you're standing, you're just, you're topsy turvy. Got the backpack on, you have to make it behind you. So. Um, but uh, that's kind of the way it goes. Um, they've been birdied across this hole. It's, it's, sounds moronic to call it a flat because it's not even close to flat. And we've got Alex downhill from me. The birds tend to be flushing downhill, so he's going to have a 40 mile an hour shot off balance if we do get some more birds up. They seem to be up here. You can see Ida's over here working. Um, and whenever that tail starts going that way, then <coughs> <coughs> that means there's been birds there. Um, it's just, it's super tricky up here in that um, you're trying to get a good shot uh, and good shots when you're dealing with the amount of people in the terrain and the level of danger uh, it's tough um, but that's what this is all about but we're well above 13 now and uh, headed towards the top uh, hopefully we'll get up there <coughs> what I'm hoping is that there's a bowl or something halfway manageable up there that we can kind of <coughs> that we can kind of uh, work, but we got a little ways to go yet. It's uh, coming up on three hours into this climb. Uh, easy. 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 I don't know. No, easy, easy, stay, stay, easy, easy, stay, easy, stay, Ida, stay, easy, Rio, easy, easy, stay, stay. Thank you. 
here's a perfect example of distorted shooting. Oh. We had them. We had them there. Oh. That's a good covey of them. The dogs flushed them. I don't know if you saw all of them this week. There he is. I'm trying to get on point. I'm way down here. Come here, I. Take a break. Come on, guys. Come take a break. My bad. Uh, my bad. Uh, didn't get the gun up, shot over top of them. They're flying down, and uh, I'm just watching, shot over top of them. Uh, it doesn't get much easier than that. Uh, we're at 14,000 feet. Should have the limit of target coming up empty. Uh, but what a, what a time. Oh, man. Oh. Right there is the summit. <laughs> yeah. Have a good one. You too. Come here, I. They just keep flushing. We're right here towards the summit. And, uh, Ida, easy. Easy. This way. This way, I. been timing it all through here and uh, we're now out of shells and in good company so that's that easy easy this way this way here. Here. She's a, uh, a Llewellyn setter. She's going to creep on them. They're going to be to your right. They're going to fly off to your right. If I send Ida, she will go. Do you have an open shot, Alex? Everybody's out of the way. I mean, I'm, I'm clear here. Go further right. They're going to fly off to the right when I release them. Uh -huh. I can see the birds. Can you see them yet? I cannot. There's a friggin' chipmunk that keeps going. No, she's not. She's watching this bird. It's out there on the edge. Go, Ida. Oh, yeah, I got him now. Easy, Ida. Easy. Whoa. Whoa. Go to the right, Alex. You're going to get a better shot to the right. Go to the right. Yep, because they're going to go, they're going to fly to the right. Are you clear to the right down there? Yeah, we're clear. Okay, she's going. Ida, get him. This way, Ida. Hey, go. Go. Hunt him up. Go get him. Go get him. Okay, here they go. Get him, Ida. Get him. Go get him. She's not used to going without me. <laughs> Hurry up, Ida. Rio's locked down on him, though. Well, I'm gonna come, let me come down real quick, guys, and then you, I'm going to try and get her back. Go, go, Ida. Go on, go on. They're down there. Come on, come on. Let's go. Go get him. Go get him. You ready, Alex? Okay, it's an awkward shot, but I'll get her to him. Here you go, Alex. Even if it's long, take it, Alex, just because I want to reinforce the point. Go, go, I. Oh, look at her, she's pointing, it's right off her nose. Yeah, it is. Go, go get it, go get him, go get him. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. That, was, that, was I, that was way long. They, they went way further, Alex, but that was, thank you for shooting. Absolutely. On safe. Good. Go ahead and unload. We've got people up there. We, we, we don't need to push any further. Rio, this way. Good girl, Ida. That was way long, but thank you. Yeah. Up here with our good group of folks. Top of Belford, good group of dogs. Top of Belford, these folks are going to keep going. We're going to call it quits and go down. Uh, 
find some birds, but uh, Alex is playing photographer. <coughs> Alright guys. No rate. Easy, Tiger. This way. We aren't going down that way, miss. No. This way. Come. Come on. Come down this way. We ain't going down there. Come on. There's the split, Alex. Hey, this way. Come on. So, I've had a wonderful day of hiking so far. And a not so good day of shooting. Um, I was telling Alex earlier, and he kind of saw it from his shot from the top over there. Um, what ends up happening is these birds are flying down and the dogs in are, are at least Ida is running to flush them and it appears like she's running. Uh oh, Alex, um, stay. Hey, stay here. Stay, stay. And so it appears that the dog is running easy, Ida, right here. Easy. Easy, easy. Uh, it appears that the dog's running up while the bird is, that they're, they're, they're coming together. So I've shot over top multiple times because it just feels like it's not a safe, not a safe shooting window. Okay, Ida, Ida, easy, easy. She's okay right there. She must be smelling them from way out there. Yeah. This way, come on. We're gonna call them off. Come on, Rio. This way, come. No, no, hey. This way, come on. Out this way. Come on. Here, here. So anyways, you kind of get the idea from looking at that. If Rio's on point and we send Ida, it looks like Ida's running, I'll say up. It's not the case, it just appears that way because they're converging uh, together. The birds are flying off the hill and it just makes the shots look, it doesn't, it doesn't look good. Uh, and, and I know there's chucker hunters out there and other people who shoot white-tailed ptarmigan who go, well, that's no problem. Yeah, it might not be a problem. Um, I'm also not going to put my dog in jeopardy, not up here, um, not anywhere. So we're just going to try and err on the side of caution if it doesn't look like it's a clear shot window. Um, like Alex did up there on the precipice, he had a clear shot window in some ways, but he shot over that bird intentionally. It was a 50 yard shot anyways, but we're reinforcing what the dogs are doing correctly with the shot. Um, but what we hope is we get down here a little less steep that what we're gonna be able to do is get crossing shots instead of shots off of cliffs. And then we may be able to do some work. I'm not gonna guarantee it, <laughs> but that's kind of what's going on. Uh, okay, I go. You guys done for the day? That's misery. Some people call it Missouri, I suppose. Looks about like misery to me. Uh, it looks like there is a path going up here that you would have to negotiate that hedge. Oh my Lord, that's gnarly. But uh, dog's water intake's been pretty high today. This one's getting over some kind of cold and us two are Headed back down the mountain. So. Get some snow.
bike camp. <coughs> Got the repack going. <coughs> Re refilled waters. <coughs> you know, something we're finding out is on these back-to-backs. Um, today, the dogs went through three liters faster than any other day. And <coughs> the distance we've covered so far <coughs> is only 4.9 miles <clears throat> so now those were some brutal miles in some regards uh, but <clears throat> that tells me that on back to back we're going to have to adjust our plans probably uh, and we're probably going to have to do some other adjustments based on what we saw today but um, it was a really good hike uh, and we're not going to the dogs are pretty wiped out. We're not gonna focus too hard on getting into birds on the way down. I gotta focus on repacking this pack. Uh, good hunt today. Um, so I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, I think you got to see kind of what this is like. Uh, if you're not a bird hunter, Land birds are the ultimate underdog. And if you want to learn more about it, you should follow us. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Ultimate Upland all the time. Of course, you want to subscribe at, you know, on YouTube. If you are a bird hunter, uh, you might want to stop chasing limits. Start testing your own. Get outside, get to some wild places, try out your public lands, try something different. Uh,